everyone, welcome back to my channel and what a beautiful day it is today. So you guys have swarmed my Instagram yet again. I think you've figured out how to get me to react to things now. <laughs> um, I got so many messages from people letting me know when this new Katy Perry song was coming out, Daisies it's called. It came out at two o'clock today in Australia and it's 2.54 so I'm like right onto it. <laughs> Thank you for requesting this one. I love Katy Perry. I love her on American Idol as a judge as well. I think she's a really great coach and teacher as well. I'm really excited to check this one out and see the kind of vibe that she's going for. I'm wondering if like the reference of daisies is like blooming and she's pregnant. So maybe it's got something to do with her pregnancy. I'm not sure. So we're gonna check it out and we're gonna see what we think. guys so basically I'm almost definitely sure this video is going to get copyrighted anything that's like brand new and is a really popular artist they're really strict on how they copyright stuff so unfortunately what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pausing a lot and I'm probably going to be rewinding and maybe even skipping a little bit as well but if you're coming to this video because you haven't heard the song before and you're wanting to hear it go listen to the actual track first because I'm gonna it's gonna be cut up and all over the place just so I don't get copyrighted told them your dreams and they all started laughing I guess you're out of your mind till it actually happens depth to her voice she has that really beautiful it's clean it's not husky but she has a really kind of uh, deep sounding voice in a lot of ways for a female it's not bright sounding it's very almost dark in a lot of places and then she adds that air coming onto those high notes and I really love that let's just go back a little bit I'm the small town in seven billion why can't it be me Told me I was out there, try to knock me down. The video is really cool too. It's like kind of vintage looking and lots of flashes and kind of that green color effect on it. I really like the video. It's like grainy. Those sticks and stones showed them I could build a house. They tell me that I'm crazy, but I'll never let them change me. Do you hear the harmony in the background? That's really cool. And you can tell it's her as well. A lot of singers. They, if you look at a song when it's released, um, if you really deep dive into Google, you can see who did all the different elements of the song. So who produced it, who wrote it, who did all the different things. And you'll notice that a lot of singers don't use their own vocals as their backing vocals. They use backing vocalists. But at the end of the day, these are professional singers. And if they take a little bit of extra time in the studio to record those backing vocals, it is all gonna blend better because there is no one that can blend better with your voice than your own voice. So I really love that she's taken the time to do all her own harmonies as well, because it's really obvious that it's her. She's got a very distinct voice. So I think it would just be really obvious if it was someone else. So they cover me in daisies, daisies, daisies. They said I'm going nowhere, trying to kill me out. Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. They tell me that I'm crazy. mixture of the real and the computerized instruments too. You can really hear that acoustic guitar kind of just brings it back to earth a little bit, makes it a bit more grounded, makes it a bit more like organic sounding, I guess. And then you bring in those computerized elements and instruments, it kind of turns it a bit more modern. And so I really personally prefer when songs have real instruments in them, even a few lines of them, but I think it's really creative when they've mixed the two together. Do you hear the cry the into I could build a house? She almost scoops and cries into it. I could build a house. I kind of like that. Let's go back a little bit. So 
So she's got a diphthong for daisies as well. She was saying daisies. So when you're getting trained by a traditional singing teacher, kind of the ground level rule is that you hold the open vowels. So um, daisies, daisies, you know what I mean? So you'd hold the air sound and don't change into the E. So a diphthong would be sounding day, day. Can you hear the vowel change halfway through? She's using that diphthong as like a bit of a pop kind of tactic. But if you hear a lot of singing teachers, they'll tell you not to do it. And I think it's appropriate sometimes and sometimes it isn't. I think if you're a beginner singer, probably try and stray away from too many diphthongs and then once you kind of figure out where they belong, that's when you can play with them a little bit. But I really hate when people say that diphthongs are bad because they have their place in music. If anyone tells you that you're not allowed to do them, they're wrong. But just be, be sure that you know why you're doing them and when you should be doing them. Listen to Daisy. So they cover me in daisies, daisies, daisies. He actually saying daisies, daisies, instead of daisies, daisies. You hear the difference? When did we all stop? I love that build of it makes you feel like it's about to have a drop in like a party but then it just drops into like less instruments and a bit more of a chill vibe. I kind of like that. It's a bit anticlimactic but it keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Let's go back and listen to that. When did we all I like stop believing in magic? Why did we put all our hopes in a box in the attic? I wonder who filmed this video. Do you think that she had planned to release this song now and then she was kind of like, oh no, we're not allowed to be in big groups to film it. So she got her husband or someone to film it instead. I wonder if they did just like kind of a home video and they got someone to edit it. That's kind of the feel of it. And I don't know if that's actually what they did, but that's how it feels, doesn't it? Ooh, getting a bit of nudity. <laughs> I hope my channel doesn't get flagged. What does that mean? So she's talking about her upbringing and people didn't believe in her? Is that what she's referencing? I need to listen to the lyrics a bit closer. So they covered me in daisies. I'm trying to figure out what she's talking about. It's very catchy though, isn't it? You like know the chorus after hearing it twice. So they covered me in daisies. <laughs> Very Katy Perry trademark thing to drop those really soft vocals into this like broken down section and just and then I'm, I'm almost certain that after it, it's gonna be like ah, da, 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 like party straight after this. Something in music is that you feel like you need to have the chorus to be really loud to have it impactful or the bridge or whatever it is that you kind of want to have a moment with in a song. But my tip for that, if you're a songwriter, is to instead of trying to build the chorus and add some more instruments and make it bigger and bigger and bigger, take a leaf out of Katie's book and make the parts surrounding it quieter. So instead of building the chorus up, take some instruments and take some volume out of the parts that are around it and it'll just make it sound like a bigger contrast when you are going into that chorus. Because sometimes it can just sound a little bit too messy if you just keep adding and adding and adding. So that's what I would say, have a contrasting part before and after instead. And that's what she's about to do here, I'm guessing. Small town, one in seven billion, why can't it be me? Here it is. They told me I was out This is cool, I love it. Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. So she took their words and then she said, well, Look at me, look what I'm gonna do with what you, your, all your assumptions. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna make something out of it. That's a cool message. I like that. I still don't quite understand the Daisy reference though, but um, I'll, I'll keep thinking about it. Oh, 
covered me in daisies, tried to kill me off. So is she saying that it's almost like they buried her alive and they covered her in daisies? Is that the reference? They almost buried her and was like, you're done with? Hmm. Love that ending. Let's listen to that again. It's like, and then like a bit of a reverb echo at the end. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. Ooh, what do we think? To be honest, I actually, um, I feel like I relate to that song a lot because I grew up in a small-ish country town. I mean, it's not that small, but it's... In comparison to like the big cities of Australia, it's kind of small in comparison and definitely everyone knows everyone where I'm from. And so even myself starting YouTube, that for me, that was really scary because I was like, oh my God, people that I went to high school with or that I grew up with are going to watch this and they're probably going to be like, oh, she's weird. The whole message behind this song is, yeah, they, people are going to laugh at you. People are going to throw words around. People are going to make fun of you but it's how you come out of that and it's what you make of it that kind of shapes you as a person and that's what you should be proud of and I really love that because I, re I just really relate to that I pushed through the criticism that people might have about me putting myself out there online for the world to see despite it being a little bit embarrassing at times and I did it anyways and I'm so proud of myself for doing that so I love that it's almost like an empowerment anthem coming from Katie. It's really cool. What did you guys think of that song from Katie? If you haven't heard it, please go listen to the whole thing without my interruptions. And I'm definitely, as soon as this video ends, going to listen to it fully without stopping and pausing it. But naturally, with copyright, there's no way I could do a reaction without doing that. This is just me trying to do the best I can in giving you guys what you've asked for. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any more requests, then please leave them down below or swarm my Instagram if you really would love to see them happen. I love having conversations with you guys on Instagram too and just feeling like we're friends. So hit me up over there at Zara Jarvis Music. I also have a website, ZaraJarvisMusic.com. You can follow me on all social media. Everything is linked down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.